Hey, Zach, uh, obviously huge game, career high 21 points, but there was one moment that I wanted to go back to. The game tied at 12 after the flagrant foul. Iverson didn't make uh, any of his free throws. You guys got the ball back. You hit the three to get the momentum going for you guys. How huge was that? Yeah, I mean, that's big. Uh, I think Nige hit me on a kickout. Uh, so whenever your teammates can, I, I had a lot of open looks tonight. Uh, that helps. That helps to go eight for eight. So my teammates did a good job of attacking the paint <clears throat> and kicking it out to me. And I had ten. Coach always says ten toes facing the rim, and you can knock it down. So I felt good. Jim, Zach, I mean, did anything pregame that would have indicated something like this was coming for you? No. I don't, sometimes you think you got to hit all your shots in pregame. Sometimes you miss. Uh, just you can't you can't really tell. Um, you got to hit that first one in the game, and then kind of get that confidence going. And uh, yeah, like I said, warm ups, to total different feel. Uh, you can make every one and then come out and not hit a shot. Uh, but I, there's nothing that stuck out to me in warm ups that was any different than other, any other game. <clears throat> Jeff, Ethan, over to your left. Um, you got those couple early fouls and had to come out. And sometimes a coach will leave a guy sit for the rest of the half so he doesn't get the third. But Greg. Put you back in. What what was the message he said to you when he put you back in there, and to see what you could do? Um, he just said that he trusted me not to foul again, and that I could play with uh, play with two. And then I got a third um, early in the second half, and he put me back in early in the second half. And it's nice to know your coach has your back like that. And um, I was frustrated after fouling, but he was gracious enough to put me back in. Tom. <laughs> Nigel, uh, back here. After that 12-12, you guys went on a, uh, like a, th you scored 30 points the rest of the half and and went on a nice roll. And you had, you did not have a point and Bronson only had two. Uh, you had some assists and things. But what does that say about it? Was that encouraging to you about this team that you can go on a nice offensive run and it's not totally dependent on maybe yourself and, and Bronson? Um, definitely. We've, in our earlier games this year, there's been points where if Bronson and I weren't scoring, you know, necessarily the majority of the points, we were kind of stagnant in our offense and not scoring. And now we've come to the point, uh, and I guess what better time than now to start in Big Ten to, uh, for Bronson and I to not, you know, really impact offensively and for the other guys to pick us up, especially Shelly with his uh, perfect game today. But when you see things like that, it's, uh, it's definitely good for the team's confidence and then individual for the players as well. Jeff. Zach, to your left. Um, early in the second half, you guys had missed seven shots. Four of them were three-pointers. And I think Greg said during a timeout, you guys had got two jump shot happy. And then mm -hmm. after that is when you hit, scored the drive and got fouled. Was the drive just there, or were you determined to get to the rim to, just to try to make something happen at that juncture? Yeah, that's a play we got. Um, I turned the corner, and it's really my option kind of to, to get to the rim. I saw Lane. Uh, and I took it. So that, that we had to get something going to the rim. Obviously, like you said, we got a little jump shot happy. So I think that really started to get us in a rhythm. <clears throat> Tom. Uh, Ethan, going off my last question to Nigel, um, what do you think is allowing some of, some of the uh, guys who didn't play a lot last year to come along and start become regular contributors offensively? Um, I mean, not a knock on Coach Ryan at all, of course. but. I think they're getting more of an opportunity. Uh, looking at the minutes here, um, I mean, I was pretty tired, and I only played 21 minutes. And then some other guys got some more minutes, and I think that's part of it, is they're just getting more opportunity. Um, but other than that, I, I mean, we have guys that are capable to come off the bench and score and defend, but they're getting more of a chance now. In the back, Steven. Zach, I know you've played in a lot of big games, but can you remember? Being this dialed in before? Uh, no, not really. I don't. I don't think I've ever hit every shot I took from the field. Um, yeah, if I just get in that rhythm, I get. I think I believe in getting hot. I truly believe in that. You get a confidence, and I think I had that tonight. <laughs> just hit a couple shots. I, I had a lot of good looks. I had. I don't think I had really too many contested threes that I took. Um, Everything I shot was pretty much there. You don't want to force anything when you start to feel hot. Um, so I, got, I kept that in the back of my mind and just let the game come to me and kept playing. <laughs>